every day you uh, one ends up with a new advisory issued by either the central government, state government, or the local bodies, authorities, NGOs, and almost everybody. One gets confused. There are far too many advisories which are contradictory. But I feel ultimately it's boiled down to that how much can one stand. So today I'm going to share my views on how much one as you how, how how much can you stand on facing a challenging situation or the kind of times we are uh, going through. Having read so many books, met so many people, I feel that every important life story has two aspects of thing. Firstly, a man has energy enough to do and the things a man has uh, stability enough to stand. Two things. The a person, how much energy he or she has to do anything. And secondly, how much the strength she, he or she has to withstand a calamity, face the challenge and move on. Many of the world's uh, strategies In consequence, when one thinks of uh, uh, one's own life or of a restless civilization, of what it is uh, apart, one often feels the tough heaviness of, uh, uh, of uh, it all, as though, as though a tree had uh, specialized in branches and forgotten roots and now faced with a crucial hour when everything depended on whether it could stand. To be sure, stability is in, in part, uh, part temperamental, I feel. Our interior gyroscope are not a one quality so that some people will always be steadier than uh, others can ever ever can be. I remember what Sam Manik Shaw has to say when he was asked what is the greatest quality of a soldier. And he immediately replied, a soldier when he wins a battle, he, he never loses his head. And when he loses, uh, uh, when he loses a battle, loses one, he never loses his heart. And it's true for every challenging situation, uh, and that's the side from man and a man. Men of metal, M-E-T-L-E, they ne neither lose their head nor lose their heart. They stand. They stand in every situation with come collectiveness and poise. In a desperate, chaotic time we are going through, I think Indians have shown amazing stability. Moreover, reading biographies of people, it confirms the impression that all human beings are handicapped somewhere. And that in no small degree, the quality of any personality depends on the way he or she is dealing with the difficulty and standing up under it. My friend, we discovered that in a general 
the, the great work of the world has been done by handicapped people. I can quote so many uh, people. What all they had done, you can recall Wordsworth uh, said of James Watt. He said, I look upon him, considering both the magnitude and the uh, universality of his genius as perhaps the most extraordinary uh, man that this uh, a century, last two centuries has ever produced. But what? Himself we forget. Sickly of body, starving on eight shillings a week and still to produce ten things handsomely wield a penetrating spiritual influence upon all who know them. Bring on your strong and shining portion on your face and it should affect the ambience. You remember, I can quote another person who had been a handicap, who had integrate, uh, integrated personality, fortunate circumstances and physical health and has lived untroubled by limitations and they have excelled in life. They have proven themselves than anybody else. And however energetic may be his active services in the world or her world. There are many other people. There are uh, some things uh, uh, he cannot do for us. We can't do uh, for others what that Helen Keller uh, did for the whole world. We have surrounded them in our families with uh, 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 ourselves, I would say, why others? We have surrounded ourselves in the families with the luxuries that we never knew in youth and that our fathers never dreamed of. They are told on every side that personality is a creature of environment, my friend, and that the great thing is for everybody is to be surrounded by Com uh, commodious and comfortable circumstances. This is deceiving many of them as to the real secret of life, my friend. They are expecting to find life, to pick it up, to get it out of the circumstances and that is a lie. We never find life, my friend. We create it. Often the best friend a man uh, has is the stimulus and challenge of antagonistic environment to awaken the courageous, the resistance and endurance of his slumbering soul. We just have to see that we endure, be bold, be courageous and endure this calamity, this adverse time, these bad times and come out victorious. We must stand with conviction that this too shall pass and this will pass. My friend, all life must be tackled in this spirit. What existence hands us is the raw material out of which something must be made and it takes steadiness to make it. This certainly applies to our moral situations also. That old moral codes have broken down is obvious. The prevalent idea is that a laxness is modern. But that is nonsense to anyone who knows a history, my friend. In, their, uh, in these trying times, I am convinced that nothing more is needed than poise, balance, level-headedness, good sense and Above all, certainly the moral stability. There is no place where a real religion operates with more, uh, more, more success than in this matter. A vital faith in God does not contribute to steadiness of character. It does enable a man to stand up with under things that otherwise would crush him or her or bowl him or her over. My friend, when this kind of faith is lacking, 
the insecurity of life is uh, terribly increased. We are insecure enough already economically, domestically, internationally, in uh, every manner. And now, the dis, uh, uh, debilitating uh, Corona virus. And this disbelief comes with the profound uh, condition of a spiritual insecurity. When I remember when Socrates was in trial for his life, uh, his he said very it was beautiful you all must read the trial of Socrates he says men of Athens I honor and love you but I shall obey God rather than you because there was a man who had the uh, capacity to stand his ground but he did it because uh, there was something than popular judgment on which he could stand my friend Strengthen your willpower. Convince your psychology that you are going to make it, you are going to survive, and you are going to defeat Corona for better times. Thank you very much.